not gonna do the intro. You're not gonna do the intro? Nope. Okay, then we don't have an intro. So, um, we're gonna talk about uh, game passes today. Because uh, Sven doesn't want to do my intro. And um, he's very stupid, so we're gonna leave him out of this recording. And he's, uh, yeah. We just don't need them. So there's in total six game passes in the game, of course. But today we will be talking about are they worth it? Should you get them or not? That's what we will Problem. be discussing. What? Nothing. Nothing? You sure? What? Let's just go to the first game pass. I've got it open right now. Uh, the VIP game pass, you can buy it for 300 for, uh, Robux. That's what, about 3 euros, I think. Uh, so what this gives you is one more uh, dragon, so you can equip one more dragon. As you guys know, uh, you can only equip two dragons if you don't have VIP. But if you have VIP, you can equip three dragons. So if you wanted to equip your Feyras, uh, for instance, you can just equip all three of the dragons. And as well, with the baby updates, you can equip three babies as well. Because beforehand, you couldn't do that because you had one on your shoulder or you had one in your arms. And now they can just walk around Are you kidding me? What? Banana bus. Are you serious? Yes, banana bus. Look at this <laughs> name. Twitter bird. <laughs> the other night. Life free. Yeah. Because the color is stream, you know. This one is the best name though. Definitely. Out of all dragons, this one yeah, is the best name. So the next thing that you can get with the VIP game pass is 5% walk speed. So this means you walk faster. And this is a huge help because you spend a lot of time walking in this game, of course. Um, but you can make it twice as fast, basically. So um, this is uh, recommended for the walk speed and the equipped dragons. And the most important part uh, is the double XP, of course. Which, you, uh, which means you can get double XP uh, for your character and for your dragon. So this this is really a good game pass already. The most uh, fun thing about this game pass is if you have a lot of plans. Uh, I can place uh, a couple right now, uh, but if you have a lot of plans, uh, like I do, I've, I've got a lot of melons. But if you just place some plans real quick, you can of course claim them with this button. Because usually you do. What are you doing? Okay, thank you for that speech. I I, I enjoy that speech, you know. But you can usually just uh, press E and take, and you gotta do that with every plant. But if you have a lot of plants and you have VIP, you can just basically click on this claim plants, and that's definitely worth it. And you will get double XP for it as well. You will get uh, double XP for like feeding your dragon. So let's say we have an Aranga and we wanna level it up. It has 4 uh, XP right now, and it will get 8 right now because the usual XP for feeding is 4 XP and or 2 XP, <laughs> and you will get 4 XP when you do it. So is this game Game Pass worth it? 300 Robux for all of that? I would say definitely yes. This is one of the best Game Pass in the game. So make sure if you buy a Game Pass that you buy the VIP. It's definitely worth it. With that being said, let's go to the second big Game Pass. It's the Advanced Building. It's 400 Robux and it's a little bit more um, expensive, but it is right here. You have a uh, you have no collisions with building. If you place like uh, fences right now. Uh, you can just place them inside of each other. This does not count for the plants and stuff, for the collectibles. So keep that in mind, that you uh, cannot place plants and incubators inside of each other. This only counts for uh, like parts that just for visual, like the sensors and the trees. So if you want a um, base that looks good, I would recommend this uh, game pass, of course. And um, as well, you get a bigger plot, of course, and this is really useful for if you are making a farm or if you need more space. So basically what you get for this game pass is and a bigger plot and you can place stuff inside of each other. So basically this is more for cosmetics and for leveling up basically. So if you combine the bigger base and VIP with each other, you can get a lot of VIP uh, or <laughs> VIP. You can get a lot of experience. So I'd recommend to get these two actually. Um, these are one of my favorite game passes in the game. So um, I'd recommend this for only 400 Robux you can get it. So definitely something you wanna think of, of buying. The next one for 350 Robux is Lucky Egg. It's right here, I've got it open. Uh, you can have two times uh, more chance of getting the rare dragon from an egg. I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> so as many of you guys may know, you have like rarer dragons and less rare dragons. The Corona cuts, uh, for instance, it will have a, it's, it's really hard to get because it's a, a tier 5 dragon. It's the most wanted dragon in the game probably. And we can take a Amphiral. It's not really that wanted, but it's one of my favorite dragons all the way. Um, 
But uh, of course, it's way really harder to get the Chronicles because it's at tier 5. So let's just say this has a 2% chance uh, that you can get it. This being pass basically doubles the chance. So as you guys can see right here, you have the two times 2 chance of getting a rare dragon from the egg. This does this means is uh, the times two. Um, it basically gives you more chance of getting the rare dragon, and the uh, slightly less rare dragons, you have less chance of getting those because you always want the more rare dragons. To be honest, is the lucky egg worth it? Yes or no? Um, I would definitely say yes if you are looking to get a lot of coins because you can sell the rarer dragons for a lot of coins. Of course, um, it's it's worth it in my opinion. Nobody sees me. What? <laughs> what do you mean, boy? But you what? Oh, I can see you. I I can cl I can clearly see you. Nope. I can still see you. Oh, I where did you go? Oh, I <laughs> oh oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Run, boy. Keep on running, noob. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna do above the map. Oh my Not god. Not again. So this is bad. This has happened in every single recording. Please don't. No oh, no 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 no. Don't jump. Don't no. It's it jumping is bad. Do not jump. <laughs> I'm not even no. No. No! <laughs> uh, are you still okay? Sven? You there? I think he dead. I think the game passes are more useful than him. So is this game pass worth it? I would say yes. If you are looking to get coins, um, you can sell the uh, bigger dragons, the rarer ones, for a lot of coins. So if you're looking for coins, uh, yes, you can get this one. Or if you're looking for the big dragon and you want to, to get it as first. Uh, or if you are a YouTuber, it's definitely worth it to get the rarest dragons first, of course. The next one is Resource Hog. The least expensive one, actually. So the Resource Hog is a questionable game pass, actually. You can get one... Uh, item from every resource drop so we have these bushes right here and if you just collect them while pressing E uh, you will get one extra item for everything you get so if you get like one wood you will get two wood uh, and just continue with that so you basically get every for every resource pool you get one plus uh, same with the beat so if you want to get if you want to skip some decent amount of farming uh, it is worth getting but I am really I, I don't know how to feel about this one so is this game pass worth it probably not uh, if you're, you're looking for skipping some farming it is kind of worth it but I'd, I'd rather just keep this robux and spend it on a different game pass so not my favorite game pass no! it might be worth Okay, but it might be worth it for some other people. The next ga uh, game pass for 500 Robux, this is the most expensive one by the way, uh, is the big backpack. Uh, you have plus 50 capacity for every resources and potions. So this means, as you guys can see, you have the dragon step. Oh wait, uh... <laughs> 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 I did not mean to say dragons, I mean inventory. Uh, you can get like 15,000 grassland fish instead of 10,000. So you gotta think like, uh, normally you can get 10,000 of each item. Uh, now you can get 15,000. Same with crystals. Uh, now you can get 15,000 of these, 15,000 of these. You can get 150 of these because the cap was 100 of these. X stays the same. Uh, you can only get 10 eggs of each and the tools will stay at 5 as well. So it's only for food, healing, resources and potions. For nothing else but it's it is kind of worth it for if you're uh, a player who plays the game a lot and needs a lot of inventory space yeah. so is this one worth it i i am not sure it's worth for like me uh, if you well it's worth it for me but if you don't play the game a lot and you just feel like um uh, you don't really need it yeah it's it's not really worth it that much but i like it honestly because i don't have to wait for like uh yeah you can only have ten thousand of this and ten thousand of that you can just keep on farming like twice as long basically so it's 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 worth it if you don't if you go afk a lot last but not least is the lucky trainer game pass it's 350 game pass and what does game pass do it increases the chance of getting a rare item from resource drops so what this means if you go to any map to resource pools uh which are i don't know here 
So you have like these bushes. So if you go collect these bushes or crystals or you kill mobs, you have a higher chance of getting potions or basically any item in the game that's really rare. So in this game it would be some potions and in other worlds it might be some potions or maybe a rare item like fairy jars. But who knows? Um, is this game pass worth it? It's of course is 350 Robux, but I'd say it is worth it if you like farming a lot. So if you farm a lot, this is definitely worth it because you have that that increased chance of getting a special item, and it just makes your day when you get one. I hope you enjoyed it. Murphy is fat. What? <laughs> what do you mean I'm fat? I'm bald, not fat. I'm just as bald as a skeleton. It just doesn't have hair at all. But uh, Sven is gonna do the outro because he likes calling me fat so much. Yeah, because that's uh, probably true. But uh, hey, idiot, do the outro. Where's the edge of the map? Don't leave you behind. I need you to do the intro. I'm be outro. I'm better at this. No, S Sven, come here. I need you to do the outro. Do it. So no, you're saying that I'm deserving your content? Um. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>